here are five things that we learned on our weight loss journey that's gonna save you a bunch of time. Number one, make sure you're drinking a bunch of water. A lot of times on our weight loss journey, we think we're more hungry than we actually are. But if you start drinking more water, you're gonna find out that you weren't as actually hungry as you thought. We were out at the beach and we were having a family barbecue. We were having a pretty active day. Mind you, we were eating a lot of hot dogs and hamburgers. And suddenly, it hit me after a game of basketball. We were out there shooting hoops, playing fives, and I came off the court, and the first thing that I wanted to do was grab more food to give me more energy. But what I did, I grabbed a water bottle, and I instantly curbed my hunger. I had more energy to go back on the court, play basketball, and win the game. So that goes to show, even if you feel like you're hungry, drink more water, and you will feel a lot better about yourself, and that way you can actually get out there and win. Number two, do more cardio. It's a common misconception on social media that you have to lift weights in order to lose weight. But the fastest way that we lost weight was by using our own body weight. By going for weekly runs, jogs, hit workouts, that was the quickest way that we shed the fat off our body. The first six months of our weight loss journey, we didn't even touch a weight. We never did bench press, we never did any bicep curls, none of that stuff. And a lot of the time, most people don't want to do cardio. Why, you might ask? It's because it's freaking hard. Nobody wants to do things that are hard. But if you want to see the quickest results on your weight loss journey, go do the number one thing that you don't want to do the most. Nine times out of 10, that's cardio. Anything to get your body moving, you're gonna see great results on your weight loss journey. And number three, make less trips to the kitchen. The reason why you're struggling with your weight right now is because you're eating too much. One thing that we did in order to stop going into the kitchen was make a rule for ourselves. Every time I went into the kitchen and I didn't really need to eat anything, I made myself do 10 push-ups. You can tell pretty quickly, I did not go back into the kitchen and say, hey, I can only eat at 10 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and five o'clock at night. A great way to make less trips into the kitchen is by getting more protein in earlier in your day. And by the time you get closer to the end of your day, you're not gonna wanna binge out on cookies, ice creams, and a bunch of brownies because you have already had that protein inside of you, which will help you curb that hunger as you go throughout your day. Protein is the building block to muscle, and the more muscle you have, the more fat you're gonna burn. And number four, reduce unnecessary calories. A lot of things that are unnecessary are toppings like ranch, ketchup, a bunch of unnecessary sauces with a lot of sugar, sodium in them. Not saying you have to cut these sauces out completely, but there are alternatives to those sauces. For example, there's zero sugar ketchup. There's even zero sugar chocolate milk. There's zero sugar barbecue sauce. Oh, so you can have some good wings. <laughs> but the point is, try to reduce as many calories that you don't really need to eat during the day. One thing that we did when we were on our weight loss journey was if we were gonna have a hamburger, we just decided, what's a hamburger without the bun? A salad. So we got our hamburger patty, we got our cheese, but instead of filling up on a bunch of bread that has a lot of calories in it, we would put lettuce in there. And we would put all our favorite toppings just like a regular burger, except without the buns. Think about how much weight you could lose if you just have to remove things that you don't need to eat. Hey Angela, what if they do end up eating a bunch of bread? What? They need to burn more calories when they're doing their workouts. And what workouts could you do to burn more calories? You know what we're gonna say, cardio baby. And number five, fasting or skipping meals. This might trigger some people, but for the people that it hits home with, pay attention. You don't necessarily need to eat five times a day, or even three meals a day. When we woke up in the morning, we weren't really hungry. The first thing that we did was go drink our water, and surprisingly, that satisfied us for the first couple hours. Why, you might ask? Because we were 350 pounds. We had so much excess storage on our body that we didn't need to eat breakfast with a big ass burrito, eggs, sausage, and bacon, and pancakes. All that stuff is just really heavy food, and you're gonna get really tired in the middle of your day if you have a giant breakfast like that. Take this into consideration. Skip a few meals. Skip breakfast. If you're not that hungry at lunchtime, just because it's 12 o'clock doesn't mean you have to go and eat. You can have a water bottle, you can have a sparkling water, you can have a granola bar. One of our favorite clips growing up was watching this Spongebob clip of Patrick when he ate Spongebob's chocolate bar and tried blaming Spongebob for it. Take a look. You took my only food. Now I'm gonna starve. Oh, Spongebob, I'm gonna starve. Patrick, no the hell you are not gonna starve. You are not gonna starve if you miss a meal or miss two meals at that. Try fasting. Try to remove some calories during your day and watch the transformation that happens on your body. We believe that you can do it and if you watch this far up into this video, we believe you're that special person that we can take and help transform their lives within the next six months. If that sounds like you, click the link in the description below and get started on our one-on-one -on -one weight loss coaching program. We'd love to have you and as always, don't wait, lose weight. We out, baby.